Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the ceiling on a bathroom and we're going to yeah, put a layer right. of porcelain over the tub. So this is going to be bathroom home improvement. The next one. We already showed part of it. First thing you do is you have to take everything that's not tied down out of here. You got to take your trash can out of here. You got to take your rug out of here. You got to take your laundry basket out of here and all your towels. Take out your soap. You got to take down your shower curtain and this. And then after I'm done all that, I'll be back with you in just a minute. I haven't got into my paint clothes yet, but um, I'm going to try to do it and hopefully I can reach it. You have to tape around thoroughly around the base of your light or take down your light fixture either way. You have the option of both ways. You can take down the light fixture and put the bowl back in so you've got light. Or you can just take... Um, so I can see the fixture. So you can take tape up around your fixture. That's what we chose to do. I felt the smarter thing is really is to take down your light fixture. For me, as short as I am, it's kind of hard to reach, but I'm managing to reach it. What takes more time is your prep time than anything else. If you want to do a good job, the prep is half your battle. It's most of your battle. And then you want to rub it so it sticks. Okay, there is that. Now, we're going to start in the corner. is some plastic 9 by 12 drop cloths for this whole room. And as you can see, I've got a window opened. So we're going to start. I didn't know how many drop cloths I need, so trust me, I've overbought. Hopefully. I'm going to start on this wall over here. We're going to take the drop cloths because I worked very hard on pulling up these tiles and I wish I had my YouTube channel so I could have found, showed you how we planned and changes we've made as we did the decorations. So, but we're going to start with this wall and this corner, taping the drop cloths all the way around again. And so the first thing you do, I'm going to show you how we did it on one. And then when it's all done, you'll, you'll get to see how the bathroom is done. Got to take a bit of opening them. I don't plan to reuse these, so. You got to kind of open it up and it just takes a bit. Well, because it's plastic, so plastic is like stuck together. Got to untwist it because it's... For those of you who are wonders, plastic is actually a petroleum product. Yeah, it's made from oil. <coughs> but I'm glad we've got it to protect my walls. Hopefully. No, I've, I've used these many times before in many painting projects. And it's very, they're very good. Okay. <coughs> Once you've opened it all the way up, Then you have to go up your ladder. Unless you uh, can be like Mr. Van Tastic and just stretch your arms up here and do it. Okay. You're gonna take your tape. 
and you've got to tape. You got to you're going to use a lot of tape and a lot of plastic. So put, start with pre-placing your plastic. Like this. Okay. So you're going to tape all the way across to support the plastic. And I'm having problems reaching. I'm going to let my son... I can't reach it. I'm going to have to let my son take over. And you want to take and put the plastic on there and line all the way. Alright. We swapped because the mom was a little too short. So that means she's going to have me do it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And this is the on pocket. No matter. Don't put any on the roof. Alright. You want to be careful not to get anything on your ceiling because that's what we're it's painting. the ceiling and that's what you're painting. So, you know, if you had your tape on the tail of the ceiling, you'd be kind of just arbitrarily doing what, covering what you want to work with. And the tape's now got unstuck because you waited too long. These, these strips of blue tape have got a bit of dust on them. Little tip clean your walls before you tape. So, I'm give those bits of strips to my mom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them my way. All right. Uh, so you notice I'm turning it this way, okay? That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it this way that you have a more sticky surface. Hold it up, that way I can work with it. Because uh, dust is your worst enemy when you're putting tape up. We'll take your hands and wipe the dust off. You have to clean your walls when you're taping. This little dust is coming off of the wall. Alright, now I've got three strips up. I'm going to get a longer strip. There we go. Make sure the whole wall is covered there. Don't worry, I got it. To save on time, David's showing you. Um, so now we got a light fixture here, right? Got a special little light fixture, right here, right now. I love that light fixture. I got it at Walmart. It was so pretty. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take, pre-attach my tape to the plastic. You want to go over the light fixture?
as you can see, we are covering the entire wall. That's the idea of this project. That's not cricket. It's to protect our toilet, our mat, everything in the bathroom. It's just to protect every little thing. It saves you taking down and removing stuff just to paint a ceiling. Thank goodness for that Lowell's. I purchased these at Lowell's, but you can also purchase them at Home Depot or whatever. It's thick tape. So they got any stick to it. Huh. Well, it's like I'm handling oil. Okay, you got the idea of it? I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna show you when David's all done. And David has to do this because his mom is too short. Take care. Don't go away. Okay. So the plastic's up and the tape's done. It's got over the floor, it's got up in the walls, and uh, if it's that painter's tape, don't don't get no stick to you. Do what I did. Get duct tape. That I'll, I'll get this stick. And I even pulled this little number here. So I can still get in and out and then close it to be able to paint over it. And I even left the gap here in the window for it to allow the air to get through. Because the gap's are recessed, I doubt any paint will get in there. So basically, in a bit, she'll be doing the painty painty. Okay, what I've got, hold on just one minute. Let me get my slippers off. Okay, I've got my painting clothes on, and I'm gonna start by rolling the roof. Ceiling. I've got a brand new roller to this. And I've got a brush brand new brush and I've got a painting can so let's go what I purchased for paint I went to I went to Lowell's and I wasn't satisfied with the paint I had decided I wanted bare specifically so that way I didn't have to do a primer or anything I got a special paint I went into Home Depot and told them what I wanted to do. You can purchase an anti-mole, anti-bacteria crud paint like that, which is very expensive, which is what I have. And I wanted the Bear brand because Bear paint is very good. And this has a blocker in it, all that kinds of stuff. Because with showers, the shower is literally washed, having so many showers, so many people living here washed a lot of the paint off the roof. And so since this is a bathroom, I wanted super strong paint. And I wanted it the color of flat white, which is what I've got. So when you want to paint a bathroom ceiling, just go there to your local paint store and tell them what you want to do. So that way you can get anti-mold, anti-bacteria, whatever, anti-special paint for bathrooms they make, which is what I have done. And since everything is taped, I can just put the lid upside down on there, and which is gonna do. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna start to roll. And so I'm kinda short, so I have one of my sticks literally crushed in my hand when I was pulling them up, so luckily I had three more. So I went to a wooden stick. The other one was kinda plasticky. Plastic made, so I went back to the old reliable wooden. I did have a Home Depot shake it, but it's been sitting there for a while, so. Because I did my room, so. We're gonna do it here. See how beautiful that is? It's got blocker and all that good stuff in it. <laughs> and so, doing this bathroom won't take a lot of paint because the ceiling is small, 
And I have tiles everywhere, so thank goodness I don't have to paint walls anymore. Woohoo! That's a celebration worth going to. And I have my painting clothes on. So I just kind of roll it. I can drip all the paint I want. And this has a blocker in it, so I might have to do two coats, but I don't know. But this is a really, really good paint. And so you just go, kind of roll everywhere. Try to be careful not to hit yourself or poke a hole in the plastic, of course. Right, so I'm going to see you when it's done. I'll get to my, I'll show you when the brushing part is. Welcome back, friends. Well, I just finished the rolling. So now, David, who's one. taller than me, is going to have to take the little brush that accidentally got pulled on the floor when I pulled some of the plastic w with the bucket and go around and edge all around the light and all around the top everywhere. But otherwise, I mean, look at the difference. See how beautiful it looks? It's all in white. And um, whew, then look like <coughs> you need to do a second coat, but if it need be, Terrible we'll tell. Time will tell when it dries. So David's about to do the brushing and I'm done the rolling. And I got paint on me. Okay. Uh, I can't set this brush. You need to get the step ladder. I know. That was embarrassing. Okay. There are many, many clever ways. For, there's many clever ways for you to do paintbrushing, but I'll show you my favorite clever way. He can take my my thing off the floor, David, so you got some room, because if you're like me and you have a small bathroom, getting around things, watch out so you don't step on the lid. The brush accidentally get dragged onto the floor. If you're like me and you have a small bathroom, working in it to do home improvements can be challenging. That's where you bring in the very bathroom that you're working on to play, like me. Everything, everything is a valid weapon for completion of the Doomsday device. <coughs> it's worth spending the money to get the best paint, so that way <coughs> you accomplish what you so want. It's for tape, too. And the best tape. Considering that, that, that blue tape we got was just pathetic. No sticking us to us on you all. And you, a brush is important because a brush can get where a roller cannot. But a uh, recommendation is yeah, you always, angled. You always want to have like one and a fourth to uh, basically one and a fourth to. I picked Three an, inch brushes. I picked an angled brush so that way he can edge <laughs> into the corners and stuff good. Four inch brushes are just too big. So the angled brushes work better Unless when you're cutting you in. Brush everything. But you wish, in my opinion, if you're going to get a four inch brush, I'll just go for broke and get a paint roller. When you paint this thing in the bathroom, you will stand on the toilet. That is a guarantee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The iron here is that if you actually are good at a pair of stilts, this is nothing. You got to, because you want to get every inch. Because I'm holding the roller, I can't move things for David. Our here is that really to marvel at how I'm doing all this, you'd have to be seeing Careful. Every part of me. I was gonna have to get tightened up. Well it wasn't meant for it to be used for you to put your body weight on it. Yeah, besides me tightened up, it's gonna be loose. 
Well, we'll do that when we put when you put the thing back. Okay, I'm gonna shut off because David, I'm in his way. Actually, I'm in your way. I don't need to do that. Yeah, you do. No, I'm serious. It's white. I don't need to do that. Okay, now David's gonna clean it, and then we're gonna take off all the all the plastic and tape, and then we're gonna tape around the tub. And David should have picked up new caulking for the tub, but because we're gonna porcelain seal the tub next. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hugs and kisses from our family to yours, and the fun never ends. Enjoy this and his sister video porcelain plastic for you to see for yourself. And you see the way my son did it? There is no paint anywhere. See how beautiful it is? And there it is. Now he's taping the tub because we're about to porcelain the tub. He's taping on around it. And you will see the difference, my friends. See, he's got to tape down and tape on the floor as well.